think it should be on record that IBC is limping today purely because of electoral fraud. The IBC that we have today of three commissioners, which is even being debated whether it is constitutional or, or not constitutional, is because of the electoral fraud of 2017. And it seems that IBC has not learned and, or is not able to learn from past mistakes and experiences. But I want to put it very clear that what we are asking is not outside the law. Transparency and accountability is demanded from all state officers and state institutions. Commissions are state institutions, commissioners are state officers. They are required by law to be transparent and accountable in whatever assignment they are given by the people of Kenya to do. At the moment, this commission, limping as it is, has been tasked with the responsibility of preparing and conducting and finally declaring the results of Kibra by election following the death of the immediate former MP. Uh, immediate uh, former MP. And therefore, what we require from the commission is information that must be made available to the people, to the people of Kenya. I have the copies of the letters that we have written to IBC. This is a letter we have written to IBC on 20th of September 2019 to one Mr. Wafula Chebukati. This letter was written by uh, Mr. Oduoro Nguyen asking for the register of the Kibra constituency. Having gotten no response, on 20th again of September, we wrote another letter, again by Oduoro Nguyen, asking for the same register, no response. The same 20th, two letters were written, one to Wafula Jebukati and one to the, to the IBC officers. As I said in my statement, it's much later that we got a response from uh, the CEO asking us to pay after our lawyers, Rachel and Omolo, have written to them, is when we got a response and they said we pay 15,000 shillings to get the register. And we paid the 15,000 register, I mean uh, fees, and this is the receipt that we were issued with. I have a copy of the receipt here. And that was on 3rd of October. And today is which date? 9th or 8th. A whole week we have gotten no response. If you look at the Elections Act, it is very clear that we needed not even to ask IBC to provide this register. It should be available in the portal of IBC. Any Kenyan should be able to go there and see what that register, how it looks like, what it looks like, what names it contains, which names are there, mistakes which are there, so that if there is any mistake with a name, a voter can easily point out and have it corrected in good time to be able to vote. Now the question is, when IBC refuses, because it cannot be a failure, they have all the machinery, they have all the resources, IBC is one of the most resourced commission in this country. They have refused to make available information which they should ordinarily be making available. That is updated voters register. And the register which was used in 2017, they are not able to do that up to now. And you can see the mischief. Letters are written, IBC is not responding. We would not be here today. We would not be addressing IBC through the media. We had our officers, the executive director of ODM, which is one of the participating parties in this election, which by right is entitled to have information regarding the register that will be used during the election of 7 November. Our CEO wrote and no response. The secretary general of the party, who is by our constitution, is supposed to be liaising and communicating with IBC, wrote more than one letter, no response, until when now our lawyers wrote to IBC, is when they are now purporting, they purportedly responded now to our SG, asking us to make payment so that they can make registers available, which we did on 3rd of October. Up to today, we are on 8th of October, and we still don't have the register. Now, in my conclu concluding remarks, I want to say this before I give it to the chairman of the party, that I'm aware 
of the mischief that is happening in IEBC. And I'm aware the plans that they have. They know that's our stronghold. And by the way, we are not complaining and we are not saying we have any doubt that we are going to win that election. And nobody should come out, come and say that ODM is complaining or doing anything of that nature. They know ODM is Kibra and Kibra is ODM. But I know of the mischief that is being planned because as you know, as a country, sometimes elections are not, are not uh, done in accordance with the law. And you know, sometimes elections can be corrupted. We have, it has happened before and there is no doubt it can happen in Kibra. I'm aware of three com uh, two commissioners from Northern Kenya who take breakfast dinner and supper, I mean breakfast, lunch and dinner in the house of a senior Jubilee leader from Northern Kenya. I'm aware of that. I'm also aware that Jubilee has hired the services of the former cabinet secretary, David Chirchir, to go and manipulate electronically the election of Kibra. I'm also aware of that because I live in Kenya. I don't live in, in Mass or I don't live in the US. All that we are aware as a party. What? Therefore, we conclude as a party is that IBC does not want to be transparent, does not want to be accountable. And therefore, as a party participating in this election, we are telling them they must be transparent. IBC must be transparent and must be accountable. And the only way to hold them accountable they have, when they have refused to respond to us formally is to go to the offices tomorrow and demand for that transparency and demand for accountability by providing to us the register that will be used uh, on uh, November 7th. Election must be seen to be transparent, accountable, free and fair. It is not a question of doing it in a free and fair manner. It must be seen to be free and fair. And the only way it can be seen to be free and fair is by conducting your affairs in a transparent, objective, accountable, and responsible manner. In my view, IBC commissioners, the three of them who are remaining in office, led by Wafula Chebukati, are not showing signs of responsibility for a state office, which is a requirement under Article 10 of the Constitution. We want to tell you, uh, what is the name of this one? IBC, to try, to try and do that mischief this time and they will face the consequences and the wrath of the people of this country. So with those few remarks, I want to tell IEBC to desist and please provide the register, the updated register. When we speak to one of the ICT director, the ICT director, Mr. Mohati there, he's telling us the register is being updated. When we speak to Salome, the legal person, she's telling us the, the register is being verified. How can you verify a register that was used in 2017 elections? But I want to inform them that as we have all the data, we only, we are, we only want to see what they have. And, and it is the law that requires them to provide the register. It's not a choice. We are not begging from them. It is the law. 